we are hearing from the throne of grace this morning and just say a short prayer father we thank you lord we exalt your holy name for this time because you have ordained it is not a mistake father lord we thank you lord for guiding us together lord as a family again to hear from you and we ask this day lord daddy that your word will come oh lord speedily unto us this morning lord daddy and oh lord fill our hearts lord in the name of jesus lord daddy every pollution every flaw in our foundations lord that your word begin to flush it out this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, every correction that needs to be done in our foundation, Lord, as the word comes forth, Lord, Daddy, let there be that correction, Lord, let there be rebuilding, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, Daddy. Father, Lord, I ask that you touch my lips this morning, Lord, Daddy, speak to me, Lord, give me the unction to function this morning, Lord, Daddy. I hide behind the cross and I see none of me and all of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you all for this opportunity once again. So we are looking at the word firm foundation. Firm foundation. So I want to break it down little by little from firm then foundation before I put it together. So from the dictionary meaning it says having a solid, almost unyielding surface or structure. So firm is to have a solid, almost unyielding surface or structure. They strongly felt and unlikely to change. So anything that is firm is not likely to change. It is tight, it is there, nothing can change it. And foundation is the lowest load-bearing part of a building. It is the lowest load-bearing part of a building. So in this place now, when we put it together, firm foundation means that there is a structure that is placed on the building. I'm relating it to Jesus Christ now as our firm foundation. Jesus being our firm foundation, he has placed everything down for us to build upon. So whatever we are building, we are building upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the firm foundation that we can build upon. There's no other foundation except of this one because it is a foundation that can never change. It is a foundation that can never break, that can never be pulled down. It is an underlying basis of our life. Underlying principles that we have to live upon. That is Jesus Christ. It is our, he is our firm foundation that nothing can change, nothing can break, nothing can pull down. So before I go on deep into the world this morning, I would like us to look at the book of First Corinthians 3. 10 to 17, that is what I'll be starting from this morning. And it says from verse 10, it says, By the grace of God, by the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder, and someone else is building on it. But each one should build with care, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. I want to stop here first. So we can see from this that for there's no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the foundation that has been laid for us, that we need to build upon. And if you see from verse 10, it says that, but each one should build with care. So when we are building, we should be careful of what we are building upon this foundation that has been laid down for us. We should be a wise builder in whatsoever that we are building upon this foundation, Jesus Christ, that has been given. So we have received that grace to build upon this foundation. And we should not take for granted this grace that we have received, that will not come and start building any other thing upon this foundation. So this will take me to, we have different kind of body of cry of Christians in, in this world and this, this uh, earth that we found ourselves that people will just come with different doctrines and build. So this is like they are building on Jesus Christ, but they are building a wrong building upon him. Everybody are bringing their own different doctrines, different doctrines that does not go with the principles of this foundation, the basis of this foundation, Jesus Christ. And that is why the Bible is saying that we should be careful what we build upon this. So what are we building on this foundation? This firm foundation that we have, that nothing can break, that cannot change. Jesus Christ, I want us to search through our attitude that what kind of building 
as a wise builder that I say I am in Christ Jesus, what am I building on top of this foundation that I have? It is a grace I have received that a foundation has been laid down for me, just for me to build my building upon it. And what kind of building are we putting there? So I go on to verse 12, says, If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, there will be shown for what it is, because the day we bring it to light, it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. So this is what I'm saying here. What are we building on this foundation? What are we using to build on this foundation? From this verse 12, we can see that says that using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, a or straw. <laughs> what are we using to, to build? Are we using a? Are we using straw? There's even a place that says some build with grass. And I was laughing when I read this passage. I said, wow, some build with grass. That when the fire comes, what do you think will happen to the grass? It will just burn it away. When we build with straw, it will melt away. And there will be no nothing to show for it, nothing to see again. When we build, build with wood, when this fire comes upon this wood, do we think there's going to be any work that is remaining for us? But when we build with costly stones, when built with gold, the fire will only come and refine it, beautify it, remove those things that are not supposed to be there, and now leave it out beautifully. So when we are building, we should be careful of what we use to build upon this firm foundation that we have, this solid rock, this cornerstone that we have. He said, their work will be shown for, for what it is because they will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire. So when the fire passes through our building that we are building now upon this solid rock, this firm foundation, can we say that the building will still survive? Will it still stand? What kind of life are we living? What kind of relationship do we have with this firm foundation, Jesus Christ, that we are talking about? When the light passes through this, our building, this our building material, will it still stand? Will it see the, the, the daylight? When it when the fire comes upon it and everything comes down, what do we have to show again? So when the fire tells the quality of our work upon this building that we are we are we are building, what is our place will we say that our building will still be standing verse 40 says if what has been built survives the builder will receive a reward that is where the word of god says that they that are willing and obedient shall eat the good of the land are you obedient to the word of god are you willing to do that which he says you should do are you following his principles of building upon this foundation so that you can receive that reward of a wise builder. That the building will survive when the fire passes through it upon this foundation. Because we know that the foundation is solid already. It is there. Nothing will happen to it, even when the fire passes through it. But it is what we have built on this firm foundation that we are looking at this morning. What are we building on this firm foundation? And what are we using to build it? Are we, are, we, are we coming to even come and destroy the, the foundations that have been built, which can never happen, which we can never do? Because nothing changes that foundation. That foundation is made solid already. Nothing at all can destroy the foundation. It is now what we are building on it that we need to be careful of, that we need to, to be cognizant of and know what we are building on that foundation. Verse 15 says, if it is burned up, the builder will suffer loss, but yet will be saved, even though only as one escaping through the flames. <laughs> Shall we see now? So when we build something on this firm furniture, because 
already we have been saved by grace so we are on this firm foundation with whatever we are building but when the fire passes through it you know that the foundation is still there for us maybe we can just have that foundation that we still have the foundation but what we are built on it is burnt away but the only reward that we still have is the foundation is still there for us that we can still come and rebuild on it but when what you are putting on this foundation is also solid even when the fire comes upon it the reward is big there's no loss for us so i put this to when we are already in christ jesus and one way or the other we stray away this is the work that fire has come upon and got burnt but jesus christ is still there still waiting still saying you can still come back when you are willing and ready to do his principle to follow the basis that he has laid down his arms are still open just like the prodigal son to welcome him or her back so this is that is just the reward that we still have when the fire passed through our building and he brought it down the only thing that we still have is that one escaping through the flames. That is what I say. Even though only has one escaping through the flames, but you have lost something. You have lost lost so many things because we are not stable, because we have built with the wrong material. Verse 6 says that, don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your mind, in your midst. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is sacred, and you together are the temple. So if we are that temple, we are that building that we are putting on Christ Jesus, then we should build something like the foundation that we have already. Because we are the temple of God. We are that building that we are putting on Jesus Christ. He had laid the foundation for us that we should stand on it. We should build upon it. We should bring ourselves upon that foundation, Jesus Christ. That's when the Bible says that they that worship the Lord should worship Him in spirit and in truth because the Lord to His spirit. He also said that because He is holy, so also we must be holy, we that we serve him, we that we are looking up unto him, we that we are following him, we must be holy because our God is holy. He cannot behold iniquity. So we should be careful what we build. This, temp- this body is the temple of God. What are we putting into it? That is the building. What are the materials that we are gathering to build this temple? Is it false words, loss of the flesh, pride of life that we are put together? That we say, I know it, I can do it. I don't need God. I have everything. I am rich. God has blessed me. So I don't even need to worship God. I don't even need to, to study the word again. I have studied, I, I, I have read the Bible, I know everything beginning to the end. That is pride. Is that what we are using to build this temple? Or loss of the flesh? Or we don't have self-control over our life? That we cannot hold ourselves back? Even when we are, we are, we are beholding uh, sins like this, we are seeing it, that we cannot flee from it. When God says, I resist the devil and he will flee from you. But there's a place of faith that we have to come close to God, obey God do his will then when we now see the appearance of the devil we'll be able to flee from it these are the materials that we are putting together to build on this solid rock that we have so i'm putting it to us today as children of god that the firm foundation is the basis of our faith as the children of god it is what our life is built on and jesus is the firm foundation as we have read from the book of Corinthians. 
there's no other foundation like that of Jesus Christ. There's no other foundation. We can have different doctrines, whatever, but the basis is what? The Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. What are we building on this foundation? Is it something that can collapse at any time? Because the foundation will still be standing, but it's what we are building on it that is more important. What type of building are you putting on this your foundation, on this foundation that you have? What are you using to build this solid foundation that you have? This is the word of God to us today. What are we building? What are we building? What are we using to build? What are the things that we are putting together to build this house? I want to read from the book of Matthew 7. It says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. So I will keep saying the word of God. He said, if you are willing, Joshua wanted that this book of the law will not depart from my mouth. I will meditate upon it day and night. It is in this word of God that we will be able to gather our material to build our temple upon this solid foundation. Because it is a solid rock, it is a cornerstone that we are building upon. So we have to be wise, we have to be wise people. So we need to ask for wisdom and understanding from God that, Lord, you are my foundation. I am building this temple on you, Lord. What, what and what do I need to use to build this temple? Ask for the wisdom so that you will not build like a fool, but will build like the wise builder. So that I will not be like that fool that builds on the sand, but we will build on this solid ground, this firm foundation that we have. He said, the rain came, came down, and the streams rose, and the winds blew, and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. So when the rain falls, and blew, when the wind blows, and the streams rose, so we can see when it wants to rain, it will first bring different breeze, it will start blowing. And when a house is being built with straw or hay or grass, what will happen? We see that as the wind is blowing, so the building too is blowing left and right with it. And if the, the, the wind is so intense, before you know it, it will pull out the hay or the straw that has been used to build, and the house is destroyed. But when we are built with a strong material, when we have concrete that we have used to build on this solid foundation that we have, on this rock that we have, on this cornerstone that has been placed down for us, God says that the rain will beat it. You beat the house. The winds will blow. The streams will rose, and it will still be standing. Because what? It is built on this solid foundation. And the material that we have used to build it, are solid, strong stones, gold, that cannot be pulled down. Verse 26 says, But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. So who do we want to be? The wise man who built on the solid rock or the foolish man who built his house on the sand. So when the rain came down, the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell with a great crash. Ha. Our life will not fall in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is related to the, the life that we live now, that when tribulations comes, when we are being afflicted by the enemy, when we are facing trials, as it is happening in the world right now, What is happening to our life? Are we still standing in Christ? Or we have crashed down? 
greatly because we have not built with good material on the solid rock that we have, on the firm foundation that we have. Jesus is a firm foundation and he has a laid down rules for us that we should that we can use to build upon this. So when he, he said greater works we will do than which he has done, he knows what he's saying. He knows that he's the foundation and what we are bringing on that foundation should be strong and stronger. That we'll be able to pass the test of time that will be able to face any challenges, any trials that comes, and will not crash down. So what do we have in us as a building that makes us to be strong? That when the wind blows, when the stream arises, and when the rains begin to pour, that the building is still standing. You see some building, well built, but when rain starts falling for a very long time, you see that the color of the house begins to change because they have not used good material. They have not painted it with good textured paint. So the paint begins to fade away and the house begin to fade off. Different kind of colors, green. In fact, some of the buildings you see, uh, molds coming out of it. Mushrooms coming out of the buildings. When you check the, all around the buildings, you see molds coming out of it. Mushrooms from buildings. It is because of what has been used to build it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what are we using? to build on this foundation that we have. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I want to give us some things that we need to. Number one thing is we have to trust in the Lord. <clears throat> we have to walk in the Spirit. Trust in the Lord and know that it is only Him. And there's no other foundation apart from this foundation that we have. No other foundation can be laid apart from this foundation of Jesus Christ. So we need to trust in God. Grow your relationship with God. How do we grow our relationship with God? Coming close to God in studying the word of God. In praying, we begin to know God more. He begins to speak to us and begin to give us, like we have prayed this morning, templates that we need to walk with and run with. We need this template. And I pray that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. We must be willing and obedient to his word. When he has given us word, when he has given us a template to run on, to build our houses, he has given us, okay, these are, these are things that you need to use to build this your building. We must be willing and obedient to follow and use those things. Then we apply the word of God, finally. This book of the Lord will not depart from me. From Psalm 1, verse 2, I think, it says that we should delight in the law of the Lord. This is the word of God that he's talking about. We should delight in it. These are the things that we, use, we will use to build on this firm foundation that we have. And I pray this morning that the Lord Almighty God will help us as we journey with him, as we continue in this journey, that we will not use inferior materials to build upon this solid foundation that we have in the mighty name of Jesus, but we will study the word of God. Inferior materials are like as ethical attitudes, excuses that we give, that we cannot give our time to God. These are inferior materials that we are using to build on the solid foundations. cannot control our we see we want to see again we want to look again instead of us to just behold and take us off our eyes these are inferior materials we want to serve god but there are things there are little little things be certain things that that are holding us back so this is why when tribulations come challenges come, we are faced with 
because we have not yielded ourselves. We have not been willing and obedient to follow the templates that he has laid down for us to build this building that we need to build on this holy foundation that we have. So this morning, I pray that the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus, that we will build with good materials on this solid foundation that we have in the mighty name of Jesus. So before we close from this teaching, I just want us to quickly take the prayer for number four, as they have prayed before. We receive the grace of a skilled master builder to put up foundations according to the will of God. So I just want us to open up our mouths right now, come on mute and begin to pray. The Father, we receive grace, oh God, of a skilled master builder to put up foundations according to the will of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masele bara katane ketenema, makuza lira matanda lira manise, to be a wise Lord, that I have no we will be